Criminology Board Exam Reviewer Human Behavior and Crisis Management Crisis Management It is the process by which an organization deals with a major event that threatens to harm the organization or the general public. Crisis it is any event that is expected to lead to an unstable and dangerous situation affecting an individual, group, community or society. Risk Management It involves assessing potential threats and finding the best ways to avoid those threats. Crisis Management Dealing with threats after they have occurred. Crisis Management is occasionally referred as Incident Management. Crisis Negotiation it is a technique for law enforcement to communicate with people who are threatening violence including barricaded subject, hostage taker, stalkers, threats, workplace violence or person threatening suicide. Forensic Psychology It is a forensic discipline that evaluates behavioral patterns and how they relate to crime. Hostage Negotiation it is a negotiation conducted between law enforcement agencies, diplomatic or other governmental representatives for the release of a person held hostage against their will by criminal, terrorist or other elements. Three elements of crisis management. 1. Threat to the organization or public. 2. Element of surprise. 3. Short decision time. Types of crisis. 1. Natural disaster. 2. Technological crisis. 3. Confrontation. 4. Malevolence. 5. Organizational misdeeds. 6. Workplace violence. 7. Rumors. 8. Terrorist attacks. Man made disasters. Natural disaster. It is considered acts of God, such as environmental phenomena as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, floods, landslides, storms, tsunamis and droughts that threaten life, property and the environment itself. Technological Crisis They are caused by human application of science and technology. Confrontation Crisis They occur when discontented individuals and or groups, fight business, government and various interest groups to win acceptance of their demands and expectations. Common type of confrontation crisis. 1. Boycott. 2. Picketing. 3. Sit-ins. 4. Blockade. 5. Occupation of buildings. 6. Resisting, disobeying police. 7. Ultimatums to those in authority. Crisis of malevolence. Opponents or miscreants individuals use criminal means or other extreme tactics for the purpose of expressing hostility or anger toward a company or country with aim of destabilizing or destroying it. For example, product tampering, kidnapping, terrorism, espionage. Crisis of organizational deeds. It occurs when management takes actions it knows will harm stakeholders without adequate precaution. Three types of organizational misdeeds. 1. Crisis of skewed management values. 2. Crisis of deception. 3. Crisis of management misconduct. Human behavior. It refers to the range of behaviors exhibited by humans and which are influenced by culture attitudes, emotions, values, ethics, authority, rapport, hypnosis, persuasion, coercion and genetics. Factors affecting human behavior. 1. Genetics. 2. Attitude. 3. Social norms. 4. Perceived behavioral control. 5. Core faith. 6. Survival Instinct Psychiatric Disorders Associated with Criminal Behavior 1. Anxiety Disorders 2. Delirium 3. Delusional Disorder 4. Dementia 5. Impulse Control Disorder 6. 
intoxication or withdrawal from medication or drugs. 7. Malingering. 8. Mood disorders such as major depression, anxiety disorders and bipolar disorders. 9. Personality disorders, especially antisocial personality disorder. 10. Pervasive developmental disorder, autism. 11. Psychotic disorder. 12. Schizophrenia. 13. Schizoaffective disorder. 14. Schizophreniform disorder. 15. Substance dependence and abuse. 16. Traumatic brain injury. Mental illness, mental disorder. It is a health conditions that changes a person's thinking, feelings or behavior and that causes the person distress and difficulty in functioning. Schizophrenia. It is a long-term mental disorder of a type involving a breakdown in the relation between thought, emotion and behavior, leading to faulty perception, inappropriate actions and feelings, withdrawal from reality and personal relationships into fantasy and delusion and a sense of mental fragmentation. Autism. It is a mental condition present from early childhood characterized by great difficulty in communicating and forming relationship with other people and in using language and abstract concepts. Hypnosis It is the induction of a state of consciousness in which a person apparently loses the power of voluntary action and is highly responsive to suggestions or directions. Stalking it is a term used to refer to unwanted and obsessive attention by an individual or group to another person. Coprolalia. It is obtaining of sexual pleasure by using or hearing certain dirty words. Criminal psychology. It is the human conduct against criminal laws. Delusion. It is an erroneous belief. Delusion of grandeur. You feel as a powerful person. Dyspunia. It is a painful intercourse. Electra complex. For female, female child develop hatred to the mother but sexual attraction to the father. Equilibrium. It is a state of balance or adjustment between opposite or divergent influences. Exhibitionism. It is the exposure of genitals in public. Extroversion. It is the sensation seeking, adventurous, Dominant, assertive. Fotriurism. It is the rubbing genitals to other person. Fetishism, fatalism. It is where the sex objects are not human. Frigidity. It is the inability to have sexual arousal and enjoy coitus. Gonorrhea. It is the infection of genitals acquired through sexual contacts. Hallucination. It is when you perceive something without realistic basis. Hebephrenic. It is harmless, excessive withdrawal from human contact, characterized by silliness and childlike mannerism. Herpes. It is an infection of the genitals acquired after 220 days of sexual contact with the carrier. Homosexuality. It is the sexual attraction and relationship with the person of the same sex. Clismaphilia. It is an erotic activity involving the anal region. Masochism. The tendency to derive pleasure, especially sexual gratification, from one's own pain or humiliation. Narcissism. It is the excessive interest in or admiration of oneself and one's physical appearance. Necrophilia. It is a pathological fascination with dead bodies, which often takes the form of a desire to engage with them in sexual activities, such as intercourse. Neurotism. It means low self-esteem, mood swings, excessive anxiety. Oedipus complex. For male, male child develop hatred to the father but sexual attraction to the mother. Paranoid. It is characterized by extreme suspiciousness. Paranoid personality. It is characterized by suspiciousness but absence of delusion and hallucination. Paraphilia. They are abnormal ways of sexual gratification. 
it is the experience of intense sexual arousal to atypical objects, situations, fantasies, behaviors or individuals. Such attraction may be labeled sexual fetishism. Pedophilia. It is the act of having sex with children, usually below 13 years old. Psychotism. It is a personality type that is prone to take risks, might engage in antisocial behaviors, impulsiveness, or nonconformist behavior. Sadism. He is a person who achieves sexual satisfaction by seeing the partner suffer. Sadomasochism. It is psychological tendency or sexual practice characterized by both sadism and masochism. Schizoid personality. It is an uncommon condition in which people avoid social activities and consistently shy away from interaction with others. They also have a limited range of emotional expression. Syphilis. It is STD disease acquired 3-4 weeks after sexual contact with an infected person. It can have serious implications when left untreated, but it is simple to cure the right treatment. Transvestism. It is the practice of dressing and acting in a style or manner traditionally associated with the opposite sex. It is a sexual gratification by wearing the clothes of the opposite sex. Voyeurism. Also called peeping tom. The practice of gaining sexual pleasure from watching others when they are naked or engaged in sexual activity. Zoophilia, bestiality. It is a sexual disorder involving an erotic attraction to animals or an abnormal desire to have sexual contact with animals.